What's up guys, Shuri here, and today we're going to talk about Christina and why she is the best hero for control. I'll also be doing a video on Christina on Payload, but it would just be a very long video, so I'm going to break them up. But basically, Christina can get around some of the most crazy angles, and since they buffed her to make her radius of the blast on her balls insanely huge, um, you can basically just kill everybody, and you don't even have to be that good. I was good at Christina before, so this buff really helped me, but you don't necessarily have to be the best. As long as you can get close, it'll usually blow up and hit somebody. If you're level 10, you also do a little bit of damage after you hit someone, making it to where you can kill most of the most hard to kill and unkillable players in two shots. And the best part about that is, if they are something like a Gloria that's set up across the map or an Osis, you can usually fire your two balls across the map at them, before they actually know what happened and they can't get away. The one downside is um, the game just broke, so that, that sucks. But luckily for me, Myron's on my team, so he just kills everybody for me. Yeah, it's pretty great. But it doesn't take Myron to be on your team. Literally, all it takes is you to be able to just throw out balls and run away. Because that's the main thing about Christina. You do want to kind of be in the mix, but you also need a route to get out. Right here, I'm low. Myron ends up covering me, and I know I can get back where there's some cover and then end up getting a heal. Since we don't have a healer on our team, we have to be extra careful, and we also need to cover Myron. So if you have like something like a good Osis, a good Gloria, whatever it is, you need to make sure that you got their back. You can get away better than most other things. Things that chase you, you can throw traps in front of yourself so a lot of things won't even try and you can just deal with a lot of the threats something like an osis or a gloria might have trouble with so if you stand between them and that danger you can end up helping your guy live a lot easier and just do a lot more for your team himself as you do the most damage in every single game because as people go to the hill usually they go together this will allow you to end up getting tons of blast damage on multiple people per hit and right here myron's in trouble so we're gonna go in there he's pinning them in the spawn and he is getting shot or shooting people so if you ever see that you do want to go help and that's exactly what we do i'm getting shot in the back so i go to get myself to safety we're gonna go ahead and find Fire a little bit in front of where that guy's going because with Christina you do have to lead your shots. It is something that you want to use manual fire mode for or you can do auto fire like me because if you're pointing at someone with auto fire and you throw a sticky bomb it will actually do a shot every single time. You can do like 12,000 damage in two seconds doing it but auto fire comes with its downsides. Either way, most of your shots will still be manual fire, so you always need to have a manual fire button that you're used to using. But basically, you can do so much damage that you can end up out damaging everyone, but you also can live easier than almost any other hero. And for the simple fact, like I said, as long as you're trying to escape the second you kind of get caught out, you try to go behind something where they can't see you, no one wants to chase Christina because your traps will absolutely wreck them, and you can always just throw yourself back away, you can go get that heal, and then you can get back in the fight. And since you can go just pointing up in the air, you can shoot your balls over to them from far away, so you can get back in the fight faster than it actually will seem, and people aren't going to be paying attention to you because you just ran in the other way, and so you don't seem as much of a threat. Right there, I knew he was going to die, so I just go ahead and shoot those two balls since he was gonna die to it no matter what I just moved on to go heal and that's another cool thing about this is that you can go ahead and shoot and if they're far enough away you can already be off to the next thing when that guy dies also making it harder for people to track you and you can always just throw your traps into the middle helping your team out and right here we are staying as safe as can be if they did turn on me I can always just run away from any of the angles that this room allows I do want to make sure that I'm checking my back and I actually throw a sticky bomb on this wall in case anyone comes in i can chase them into it but i end up pushing up once i realize we had most of them down there's no reason not to put pressure on them we don't want to let them get too comfortable but you can do so much from this by just 
shooting people at long range. A lot of people want to hit wall peaks. You can kill them before they even know what's happening. And people will try to use things like that tree to end up hiding, but it doesn't matter. Just shoot at the wall behind them and it will end up killing them. And right here, I am absolutely screwed and I'm just trying to throw in traps and whatever help I can give to my team because I figured I was going to die, but luckily we were able to get a heal and now we're going to move back up and try to give that help. I'm just throwing things at my tank because I see that he was in orange, which means he's really screwed. And since we don't have a healer, I just figure I need to watch my tanks back as much as possible. And it's basically why I was just throwing things at him so no one could get near him. And that is another thing that isn't really thought about with Christina is whatever you're shooting at, people can't really get near. So even if you're not shooting at the target at the time, you can also use it to get people out of the hill. You can also use it to shoot over buildings, which can kill people in the hill. And it's something that is a lot better than you think when you're on this map to shoot over that building because you might not hit anything but you also might hit something. So it's definitely worth doing, and then you can move in, they're already a man down, and you can break the hill that way. On this map, Chris is absolutely insane. It's my go-to in solo if things just aren't working and I need way more damage than my team can provide. I just go Chris. That's why we're losing by so much, because the thing I was trying to do, I think it was for an Aleta video actually, but what I was trying to do wasn't working out. It just wasn't enough damage, so I go Chris, and it is enough damage and you can get out from every angle it's pretty nice one thing you do have to be careful about especially on this map is the two ledges on the right and left you can get killed really easily from there the best spot to stand is basically right to my left underneath that place or the side, one on the other side. That way the guy above you can never see you. The guys that come around the hallway will run into you, but you can just kill them easily. And that's why I bounce back between these two small heels. It protects me from the people that could be above me. The other side can't see me because the middle thing. And then if anyone comes through these hallways, I can always just bounce back out, shoot them. I can run away and then re-engage from a different angle. Or if they chase me down the hallway, chasing Christina down the hallway is rough. So it will always end up working out. Sometimes you do have to go to the hill. If you see your team in a team fight, you want to go in there. If you start getting hit, you want to jump out. This allows you to be in the mix, staying near things that will keep you covered from things like Gloria that can kill you very quickly. And also Osus can do that too. The thing is, you are Christina, you're going to be a target. You do way too much damage for them not to target you. But you can go in there and you can do what damage you need to, get your team that advantage, even all of the kills, and then bounce out. Because you're not really tied to any angle or any distance. As long as you can hit the fire button and you can arc it in the right way, you can shoot them from pretty much anywhere on the map, which is the best part about this character. It is all about what you can do with your skills to make the hero what it is. And... Osis, no matter what you do, there's certain angles you can't hit. With Christina, there's very few things you can't do with this hero. And the best part is, is you can get out so good. And whenever I like to bounce out, I always manually fire. And I always throw sticky bombs wherever I'm bouncing away from or getting shot from. That way, I can always leave some damage on the person. And they won't want to chase me. Because if you get them to half health, they aren't going to chase you when you bounce away. Because it's just asking for trouble. If you get hit by a Christina... If they hit you again on all heroes that aren't tanks and like I think like one or two others, like you just automatically die. And even if you don't automatically die, you're in a real bad shape. You don't want to do that. And so as long as you're bouncing away and you can get a shot on someone, most people will just leave you alone. If they don't see you, they don't even think about you in most ranks, which is uh, something I take advantage of a lot. But right here, I know this guy is going to come around, so I do go to the left to go ahead and take him out because, again, Christina is very powerful if you're good at it or not. Because of how much damage it does and its huge blast radius, it's actually one of the easiest characters to play so i want to take their christina out as fast as possible and you can just melt tanks i mean just look how every explosion i do just hits for like multiple people and it also hits like for shields for 2800 and it's just so much damage that you're pumping in and nobody can shoot you i just killed two people right there like that's absolutely nuts what this hero can do and 
All of this is from a hero that has some of the best survivability in the game. Usually you have to choose between the two. With Gloria, you're a little bit slow, but you're doing a ton of damage. If you can catch someone out on it, they're dead. Christina also can do the same thing. The only difference is you don't have to have the same angles. You don't have to be slow. You can get out and you have all the defenses in the world to keep people from coming at you. The only thing that's hard to kill, I think, is Kazama. And not very many people play Kazama, and the people who do make their team lose. So you don't really got to worry about that. Christina is an absolute juggernaut, and in every bit of a control map, it can come in handy. And right here, they do try to come get me, even with something like an Aletta. And all I'm going to do is shoot them. He's not advancing anymore. It's an Aletta. He could have came and got me, but he's half health. He sees that I'm laying traps and running away. He's probably just happy I'm running away. But you always want to be conservative. The problem is, if you think you're invincible, especially with a high-powered character like this, you're gonna get in trouble. As soon as you start taking that damage, you want to get away from it because you can die. And you also don't have armor, so you have to heal with actual heals. You don't get to regen your armor like some heroes like Scotty and Hunter and others that can just regen their armor and then a small heal here and there works but you can usually get yourself back up to be able to live. On this one, it's not like that. You do have to be conscious that every bit of damage you take, you're going to take it. You're usually not going to be close enough to a healer that they're going to heal it, so you do have to go get those yourself. So always be bouncing between the different heals on the map. So if someone shoots you right here, you'll want to jump to the other side and go get that small heal. And then if it's really bad, you can go get a big heal or go to a healer. Right here, I did go to a healer, and then I started to get out because I wanted to go help the people getting the guy through the tunnel once I saw it was a tank because I can melt the shells faster than most and that will keep my teammates alive so they don't have to worry about pointing at a tank's shields when someone else comes up and we do go ahead and get a lot of damage our teammates take him out and that's what's so cool about this unlike Osis where a lot of the really good like plays you do and kills you do is just a one-shot kill you're not doing that much damage that your team benefits from christina's getting the same amount of kill effect but also you're doing an insane amount of damage and giving assist to your teammates so your team actually lives a lot longer with this hero than any of the others because you're getting those kills started or finishing them for your team keeping them alive and i'm not gonna lie I'm really good at Christina, so it's not going to be this way for everyone. But you can get here. It's not like it's impossible to be this good. It's not an actual accuracy thing for real. Right there, we want to throw some over to the guy across the way where he can't see us. And he did end up moving, so he didn't die. But a lot of Gatlins and Glorias love to sit in that area. So do Osis. And you can kill them with two balls. If they don't know you're there, you can usually shoot them and hit them twice before they even move. Because they don't realize they're going to die until they hit the first damage but since your balls have already been in the air for a little while and they're back to back they actually can't move out of the way of them it's pretty nice especially with this blast radius it's really bad for them not for us but right here we just throw it straight up in the middle get the guy low even though we're webbed and like super screwed we do end up surviving it our teammates do help us out and right here we got an amazing neon helping us and i like to throw sometimes underneath that middle center spot to be able to have traps that way if a tank comes down or just anything that tries to go for the hill they will be engaging my team very quickly after that so having that person take the brunt of the damage is something that that I like and then if they decide to shoot them which I also don't mind my team sees them way before that and then they're busy trying to shoot these little orbs while my teammates are doing more damage than the traps actually would have ever done so it's a win-win if they shoot them or not it does stall things just a little bit for my team it gives them more time to prepare even myself and then also some damage a lot of the time Right here, we just want to try to stay on these outskirts and then end up throwing in damage. On this one, I'm playing a little more aggressive because I had a Neon that was actually healing me, so I don't worry about survival as much. That's why I put this one in. Because this is how you can play if you trust your healer and you don't really have to worry about living and just getting out all the time. You can aggressively use your jumping. 
I play solo a lot and I don't have any healer and especially not ones I can trust on my team normally. So unless I'm playing with my wife and I know I'm going to get the heals, I will play like I have to run from all damage. But if I do know that I can be healed, I'm in it, man. Like, I'm using every single leap to leap into people. And right here, that's what we're doing. We are making sure we take over the hill, and we are just pumping out the damage. And I'm not going to lie, that's why we died. Because we were being way too aggressive and not using our jumps for uh, getting away. But I play for content most of the time anyway. So, like, I'm going to go for, like, those extra multi-kills and just jumping on people if I can. If I have teammates that will allow me. So, I play a little more aggressive than is smart. But you can still use those tactics to do good things and not be an idiot about it the way I am because I would much rather have the clip than live. But right there, we do get the clip and we get away because, I mean, I'm starting to realize, okay, they're doing a, quite a bit of damage to me. I do have to be a little careful, but I am able to go ahead and shoot these guys over that little corner piece where they never see me. So I'm not taking damage. I'm just doing damage. That is why Christina is the best DPS in control. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.